Hey guys, this is walk around the all new Kia Stinger GT. I was sorry for the background noise because you got the TV playing in the background and you might be able to hear it but you have the radio playing as well. Anyway, towards the front, got your headlights, you can see. Got some black dot, which looks quite nice. Got some nice chrome here. It's actually a different sort of colour. It's not actual chrome, it's looks kind of like a tinge of bronze. It's really hard to see, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks really nice. Go over here. You can see you've got your got forward camera and here is your sensor for your adaptive cruise control. This car does not have a fuel consumption sticker, but I will be able to put that in the description below. Your wheels, the Continental, Conti Sport contact fire tires, and the tire size are. 19 inch wheels. Yeah. They also bumper brakes. You've got them fitted, which is quite nice. Got that same sort of chrome on the side view mirrors here, which looks really nice. It looks chrome, but it's actually um a different sort of color. It's kind of goldish bronze. I think that looks a bit better. Look, actually here it looks kind of more brown. Right. Indicates that, and you also have a camera at the bottom there. Some more that chrome. Got two vents here, but they're not operational, as you can see. They're just for styling. Here. Brummer. Brummer. <laughs> Tell it. It's a rear end. Tell it. As you can tell, this car is for sale at Black Bank here. You yeah, have Quad exhaust. Very nice. You've got four parking sensors integrated into the rear bumper there too. Okay. Also have a reversing camera there. You also get Kia's famous seven year unlimited kilometer warranty, so it gives you a bit of peace of mind. The braking light. It's a power tailgate. Obviously. Lots of space. It's actually very big, the boot space here. It's also illuminated there too, which is quite nice. Seats do fall down if I just pull this here. I do the same thing on the other side as well. toggle there, if I pull this, comes down and you can see that the seats fall down completely flat which is really good so it makes it very easy to slide large items across which is really good so you have tons of boot space especially for a sedan or well, it's more of a hatch I'd say it's very similar to an Audi A7 I'd say in terms of design it's pretty cool. Got some hooks here if you want to tie down items. Fuel for the release. Pull this up. Toolkit. And below here, I believe, is your space saver spare tire. Yes. Very nice. 
ist das? SPS play in the background. Okay, here's the interior of the all new Kia Stinger. Towards the front, you've got your speedometer. You see, temperature gauge for the engine. This car has done 1,553 kilometers. Got your speedometer, obviously, and your fuel gauge. And obviously, in the center, you've got your Little LC display cluster that displays all information. Gold leather wrapped steering wheel. It's also perforated. Got good bolstering. Get some really nice brown stitching over here. It looks red from here, but brown stitching here. It's also, you get the nice piano black trim with the, you know, with the GT badging here. It's quite nice. Got controls. Answer council calls for your hands from telephone, volume controls obviously, and to seek to your stations, and you've got your cruise control settings, and so on. So got power shifters here if you want to shift, minus, plus. Got your wiper controls to the left, and your headlight indicator controls to the right. Over here, you can see, got obviously your boot release, your Release for your fuel cap. You got your lane departure warning. Sorry, you got your headlight. What am I saying? Uh, you got your blind spot monitoring system, lane departure warning, and obviously this is for your illumination for the dash if you to increase or decrease it. Soft touch here. It's quite nice. Soft rubber. Also soft touch here. These vents are very similar to what you get in the S-Class, which is quite cool. Or what you get on the Audi A4. No, sorry, Audi, um, Audi A3. They have very similar gauge, very similar, similar vents, I'm saying. Put this down. It's nicely padded. Glove box. Also, here the vents also have some nice piano black trim. The over here, it's all nice and covered in Alcantara. The headliner. I don't have the key, so I can't show you the UI, which is kind of irritating, but that's alright. Good controls here. See your volume controls for the radio. Turn mode, radio, seek. Buns have some really nice feedback, and then that's. I believe that's for your navigation. Yeah. So now they put them on SD cards now, posted DVDs as they used to. So that's for your map dot Climb control. Ooh, very nice. They feel very, very premium. Ah, very satisfying. Obviously, obviously you have various different zones, recycling, AC, fan speeds, got your temperature control here to the right. Some aluminium, brushed aluminium as well. Push this here. Ooh, that feels very, very, very premium when you push this here. Feels really well made. Anyway, got a 12 volt, so 120 watt power outlet. You have a aux port, a USB port, and over here, wireless charging for your smartphone. So if you've got the new iPhone H, which supports wireless charging, and any most of the new Samsungs as well, such as my S8, it will do wireless charging, which is really candy. Got two cup holders, which is very nice. You got a pretty sleek looking shifter here. It's all leather, I'd say. 
Oh. It's very nice. Electronic parking brake. Turn off your stability control. Also hold, I believe that's when you incline, you press that, it prevents the car from rolling back. And your various driving modes you can select. Over here it's all carbon leather door, it's got some nice grey stitching here, if I pull this up. In this tray you've got some storage here. Got a little path and a little shelf here. Does it fit anywhere else? No, not fits it. There you go. Space to put your bits and bobs. Storage for your keys. Other things. Over here you've got your heated and cool seats. Passenger, driver. Turn for your pocket sensors, I think that's for your camera. You can kind of view different different angles. Sunglass holder. Over here you've got your lights obviously. Yeah, the windows over here is open so that's why you get so much noise. Animation for both. Sunroof, obviously you can't do anything because the there's no key in the ignition. Also more Al Alcantara. Got the vending room. Looks quite nice. Got another one here. Also it's illuminated. Very nice. Got a hum kind of sound system. Even here it's quite nice. We've got leather. Hmm. Bread stitching here. It's all soft touch here. Very, very nice. Memory seats, obviously. Some storage here. Switches. And that's for your windows and your locks and so forth. Can you actually turn the off? No, you can't without the key. Very nice. In terms of the, um, the power, if you're interested to know about that, it has 182 kilowatts, there's a 2 litre per petrol engine. The colour for this car is overall black, I believe. And these are the sort of features you get, you can kind of have a look. Which is pretty neat. Oh, you even get Android Auto Apple CarPlay, that's really cool. And you get the red interior, red sports appointed trim. Very cool. Seats, I forgot to mention about that. That was leather, you also got the GT logo embossed. It's also got perforated seats and good bolstering. Also very nice. Can I see the panel side panel here? Storage. Show you the put that there. Okay. Here's the interior of the steamer. Again, you got the same soft touch at the front, some nice brushed aluminium trim. Got a little bit of storage there, which is quite nice. Pave room is quite good, I'd say. Got a little bit of hump there, I'd say. Illumination. You have a bit of a large transmission tunnel, but if I put my feet here, there's plenty of space to keep your feet, so no real issue there. Got a USB port, 12 volt power outlets, got two vents here, and you can adjust your temperature if you want hot or cold air. Let's see the dashboard from the rear seat. Looks really nice. Kia has really stepped up the game, as you can tell. Their cars are really good to even rival the European cars, which is really, really cool. Really good, I'm really impressed with the quality and everything. Well, how I um, pull in the seats, if you remember, I pulled that. Seats come down, nice and flat. Here. Don't want to damage 
amazing. Perforate seats. Ice fix for your baby booster. Pull this center down. Got two cup holders. It's quite neat. It's very comfortable. Got two nuts here. Yeah. Pull this down. The seat also comes down. Nice and flat. Yeah, camera's gone off for a kiss again. I think you guys want to see the engine, so we'll just have a quick look at that. Here's the engine, the car. GDI Turbo. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. And um, thanks for watching. And um, this car is for sale, in case you're interested. And um, feel, free, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you want to check out the car, all means go and check out the dealership at Black Bank here. Thanks for watching.